Hey, have you know, have governments really lost the plot on these interest rates? So let's just go back in time a little bit. Let's go back in time to 2008. There's a world financial crisis, big emergency. It was really a worldwide shitstorm of mortgage madness out of the United States where really insane underwriting approach, crazy way of handling the back-end financing of those mortgages. It just all coalesced into a total fucking meltdown, okay? It was bad. It was really bad. And all over the world, countries who were involved in the U.S. debt crisis had to take some action. They were, they, they were involved in those mortgage bonds, the bonds behind the mortgages that went screwy. And it was a serious, serious problem. And Canada was no different. We had emergency rates. We had quantitative easing. Uh, Bank of Canada dropped significantly. Not as bad as COVID, but didn't drop quite as far, but pretty damn far. And mortgage rates plummeted. Now, that crisis lasted for a long time in the United States. Like it was severe, bad economy there for almost two and a half years. And the fallout in terms of house prices lasted for about 10 years. Like it was, it was catastrophic for so many people. There was like a million families lost their homes. That's, that's, a, that's a real deal. In Canada, not so much though. In Canada, our banking system was somewhat insulated from everything that went on in the U.S. We underwrote mortgages in a different way, have continued to underwrite mortgages in a different way, never took the excesses that the U.S. did. And so we were pretty much okay. I would suggest to you, Although things were really bad, like, you know, Chrysler and General Motors went bankrupt. I mean, that's bad, but things were really bad. But around in Canada, they kind of, everything was back to normal in about 10, 12 months. I mean, house prices started going up again in 2010. I mean, it took 10 years in the United States for house prices to start to recover. Um, so radically different, but, big but, <laughs> we kept our interest rates low. You know, it went up a bit, but not a ton. And we had very, very low interest rates for 10 years. Like right up 2019, the Bank of Canada was thinking about, thinking about, mind you, thinking about, mind you, moving rates into the 4% range. And how, I'm talking about fixed rates now. By raising the Bank of Canada rate, which we're all very familiar with now how that works, and Bank of Canada governor trots out every six weeks and gives an announcement of what's going on with rates. So that rate had risen to the point where fixed rates were starting to head for 4%, 399, 4%. Boom, COVID, holy shit. March, 2020, rates go to nothing. Bank of Canada rate goes to nothing. Quantitative easing drops fixed rates and bond yields down to a point where they're almost invisible. And mortgage rates are ridiculous. They're ridiculous. They're like, at one point in 2020, we were offering 1.49 five-year fixed. Seriously? Really? Like, it's crazy. And like, I think 0.89 variable. Like, just nuts. Okay. Here we are today in rate hell. And what's the government's responsibility here? Well, we got to take them off the hook for COVID. COVID was a worldwide financial crisis, a pandemic, a health crisis. There was rampant fear, uncertainty. Nobody knew what to do. I'll take, I'll let them off the hook. Like extremely low interest rates at the height of COVID, second half of 2020. Okay. But 2021, I mean, inflation was coming along. Uh, couldn't have hurt to raise some interest rates a little bit. They were at 0.25 for the love of God, okay? Could have raised some rates there. And by the way, we haven't thought back to, like, what the actual fuck was going on between 2014 and 2018 when some of the price of houses in, in Vancouver, in Calgary, well, Calgary came off in 2015, but still significant increase in house prices vancouver calgary toronto all oh, oh man it was 20 2017 was wild for price increases absolutely wild why were interest rates so low we got to start to ask ourselves these questions we got to not repeat what went wrong so that's what we got to think about
we are facing what might possibly be another round of financial difficulties with super high rates. Will government take action to force rates back down again? Police! We have had enough government involvement in rates. Please, Jesus, stop.